Alexa, turn on demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off demo switch. Okay. Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a special tutorial for people who do not like to work with mains 110 or 250 volts and um, convert your switches to three-way switches or four-way switches. So we're going to be doing Wi-Fi switch mate uh, without working with wires and uh, we're going to be controlling it from our cell phone, Alexa. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be giving out three 8266 uh, E12 chips away. So please leave your comments. Uh, time we hit 50 unique comments, I'm going to give out one free chip. And uh, another 100 comments, I'm going to give out the second one. And on 150, I'm going to give out the third one. So the three brand new chips that I'm going to be giving away. So here are some of the parts you're going to need. You're going to need the ESP board. Uh, you need a really small without the development board because you will need to fit that into the switch mate so there's not enough room in there. Any ESP would work as long as you have a two GAP IOs available for it to use. You'll need some uh, breadboard wires or any uh, thin wires that you have uh, because it's pretty small um, space in there. Uh, any programmer and uh, mini USB cables, a breadboard and uh, or Amazon dot, uh, Echo Dot or Echo and a switch mate. So the switch mate uh, comes in two flavors. Make sure you order the right one. Uh, so there's one for the toggle switch, one for the rocker. So either way, it'll work for either one of them. I'm using the ESP8212 uh, uh, E version. So to hook it up, uh, it's very simple. Uh, you can watch my previous tutorials, but I'm going to quickly go through it. Uh, so you connect the uh, TX2 RX from your uh, USB to TTL converter or uh, TX to RX. Uh, you connect VCC in to the 3.3 volts and the ground and GPIO 15 to the ground. Um, and this is how you uh, hook it up. And to before you power up, uh, you need to ground GPIO 0 to put your chip in the flash mode. Once you open up your switch mate, you're going to be looking at something like this. So let me go through. Uh, this is the battery pack right here. Uh, this is the motor. This is the circuit board right here. This is a switch. When you press the switch, uh, it's a talk, uh, press switch, press button. Um, turns the motor and then it makes the lever go this way or this way. So there are two stop switches, one in over here and one on this side. And these are two magnets on there. So basically what we need to do is we need to connect our uh, ground uh, and GPIO 15 to the ground part of the battery pack and uh, EN and uh, VCC to the 3 volts uh, side of the battery pack. So this is to power up the chip. So you probably want to power up at the uh, connect these wire, this wire at the end. Next, what you need to do is connect the GPIO 16 to the second pin uh, on the J1 connector right here. So if you look at the second pin, the first you skip, you connect to the second one. So you solder it right there. And the GPIO 5, you connect and you connect it to the switch on the, this side, this connector. And if you look at it in this big picture, you solder it right there. And that's all you have to do. Very, very simple. It shouldn't take you more than five minutes or so. It took me a lot longer <laughs> because I can't see very well from the camera. So uh, that's all you have to do. And make sure before you hook it up, you flash it. Uh, use one of the jigs that I created or use whatever you have available to program your chip. And once you have it, mm, that's it. So, so this is a little jig I set it up for this tutorial. It's a light bulb and there's a, a single toggle switch and then hooked up to the uh, extension cord and basically you can turn this on and off so unlike previous tutorial we did where we created three-way four-way switches 
we had to work with mains electricity and it's pretty dangerous a lot of people don't know how to work with it or um, they don't want to work with it because they're afraid of it with this one we're going to turn this into a wireless two-way switch using switchmate so here's the little switchmate i ordered it's pretty small and it sticks to any uh, home wall like this and uh, it has a label it says top on it and you just stick it on the wall and you just press it and it turns it on you press it again turns it off so you can physically control it from here you can also download an app on android or iphone and control it from your iphone but the only drawback for this is it doesn't have any wi-fi functionality so today we're gonna open this up and we're gonna be using one of the um, ESP chips that you saw in some of the few tutorials I use is pretty small and we're gonna fit that in there and turn this into a, a Wi-Fi switch and we're gonna be able to control this through the Alexa so let's open this up and uh, get it started so it's pretty easy to open it it has few screws in the back um, you can <clears throat> uh, so I already removed some of them. It has magnets, so a little bit difficult to remove the screws. So I removed some of these already. So I'm gonna remove the, uh, a couple of last ones. So one, so once you remove all these screws, there's a last screw that is under one of these uh, little plastic thingies. So if you just press them. If it caves in, that means that there's a screw right there, so you need to take this off. Put it on the side. And you open it to take the screw out. You unscrew it, and hopefully it'll come out. Oh, yeah, there you go. So once all the screws are out, you just push it lightly with your screw, and then it just comes out like this, easily. So don't force it. It's pretty um, slim and... You might break it basically the way it works is uh, this little switch gets pressed and motor uh, turns this lever up or down and it goes and presses this switch or either this one to turn this into Wi-Fi um, it's pretty easy let me show you <clears throat> what we're gonna do I have this set up um, uh, uh, um, little uh, breadboard so I'm gonna flash my the ESP8266 E12. I created this jig um, to flash these boards. I have quite a few of them. So if you want to know how to uh, create the jig, please watch one of my tutorials. And um, this is pretty easy. And for these kind of application where there's not enough room, you're going to be using these ESP chips uh, uh, without the development board. So um, you're going to need something like this to program it so you can put it in going to start soldering this to this uh, switch mate so first thing first let's do so we're gonna need a double-sided tape and we're gonna cut it really really thin piece like so like this much so you can measure it so we want to put it on the back side of this but we want to keep the connectors exposed right here so you can do it like measure it how much you need and you can cut like that on the bottom so before we do anything we're gonna need to prepare this board here so what we need to do is we need to connect the VCC and the, the third from the top EN connector together so this way we don't need to uh, connect these to the three volt separately and also connect the uh, GPIO uh, 15 and uh, the ground together from the bottom so we don't need to run um, extra wires so I'm going to do that from the bottom so you can see so I connected the ground to GPIO 15 and the VCC 2's EN so we're good so we're going to take this I'm going to peel it off to put this in a switch mate you need to make sure that um, you're holding the, the bottom piece of the switch mate it should say top is towards you and the top piece the hinge side is up and the other side is on 
bottom because it'll go on to this switch like this. So we're gonna put them side by side like this. We're gonna take our already flashed ESP8266 and we're gonna put it right in the middle, right there. I'm gonna stick it with double-sided tape and we're ready for the wiring. So for wiring, I have these little wires. These are very thin wires. I ordered it a while back and uh, I'm, you know, finally I'm gonna be using them. So I'm, I'm gonna put the red wire um, right there. I'm gonna put that into the um, VCC on the battery side. And uh, then I'm gonna run that to the ESP VCC. So let's do that. have it okay there you go so it's pretty small space in there so you have to be careful not to I, I did touch it a little bit burn on this side so that's fine so carefully we're gonna make sure we just don't need a lot of wire we just need a little bit because uh, otherwise it's gonna get stuck in this uh, lever so we need to make sure just leave a little slack so we can um, play around with it if we need to adjust it later on. There you go. It goes right in there. Okay. So I guess uh, we're done powering on the thing. So next, what we need to do is six GPIO 16. Uh, so. GPIO 16 is right next to, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, right next to the EN pin. So I should have done this as first, but let's, <sighs> let me just, un, uh, um, I should have powered, corrected the power at the end, because it's going to cause problems. So, okay, yeah, I'm just... You can see already it's buzzing so that's why I just took the power out so okay so this yellow one goes on to this uh, connector the second connector so let me just cut it and then I'll show you guys so keep a little bit slack so you, you, if you need to so you can when you close it it's not gonna be a problem so okay there we go so it's the if you holding it the same way as I am, so you skip the first one, you connect it to the second pin. Okay, I can't see very well from the camera, so I had to kind of do this. Okay, so now we we got one last pin to connect, and then we're good. This should work. Hard work paying off. And thanks to you guys leaving those comments. It motivates me to do more and more projects for you guys. I started doing this so I can automate my house, but <laughs> I'm actually spending more time doing this stuff for you guys um, because I'm enjoying it. So it's not, uh, I'm not gonna lie about it. So, but I do appreciate if you guys uh, try it out or you look at the videos please uh, leave the comments so that helps me that motivates me to do more projects for you guys um, so okay that one is done last one I'm gonna click that to the actual push button OK, 
Okay, I need to fix the angle because it's gonna block the button, so I need to fix it from a different angle. There you go. Okay, and uh, go ahead and we're gonna connect the power back on. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the power back on. So now we're done. I'm going to bring in Alexa and see if we can have it discover. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. Discovery is complete. I found one smart home device. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. So, okay, it found the uh, device. So now we're going to say, Alexa, turn on demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off demo switch. Okay. And it works. So let's close this and then we'll put it on to the our mocked switch and see how it works. I'm not sure how long the battery is going to last on this. Uh, but if you guys do uh, plan to uh, set this up, uh, let me know how you guys experience with different batteries and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and install it in my house and I'm going to see how long the battery lasts on this one. So I'm going to close it. So I, uh, what I want to do is uh, think for now, just for this demo, I don't want to spend too much time on it. I have a hot glue gun. So I'm probably going to go ahead and hot glue this, uh, these wires to make sure uh, there's also some um, things over here. Uh, just make sure to tuck it, in, tuck it in nicely in there so it doesn't run into the, that uh, lever or the whatever it is so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and make sure I can turn on and off the light on this thing right there off on I'm gonna plug this on I wanna make sure I can press the button and still control the light and now I'm gonna say the magic words So, Alexa, turn on demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off demo switch. Okay. And there we go, guys. We have a quick, a dirty Wi-Fi three-way switch. No wiring needed wireless switch. Enjoy. Let me know how you like this uh, tutorial. And I appreciate you. Until next time. Bye.